work on the furnishings of the schnauzer. We, we did the, the clipper work on the one side of the body this morning. So now we're just going to kind of like blend in our furnishings because they are furnishings. They, sh they should all blend together. It should all look like it grows naturally that way. And he's a little on the sparse side. I wonder if his mother's watching. Should it, I'll have to say something. Be gentle. <laughs> well, we're always gentle. But she's not here. She's at home. So, so we're going to trim his, the bottoms of his pads. You want to trim flush without actually cutting over the pad. Because you know the minute you're going to close those shears over the pad, the dog's going to flex his foot and you're going to nick it. Same on the front foot. Pick your foot up, Jack. Somebody needs a good soap. Jack. <laughs> yeah. Jack. And you want to get as much of it as you can because if you leave a lot of little stray hairs, they go out in the mud or they go outside and their feet get wet and then they're tracking it all in. So the owners are going to appreciate it much more if you get them as, as neat and tidy as possible. The next thing I'm going to do is scissor around the foot. The miniature schnauzer is a terrier. You want them as up, they're supposed to look ready to go at all times. So you want them as high on their toes as you can possibly make them. So I've got my curved shears. I'm gonna start by taking the hair off the front of the toes. Hi. The schnauzer has a round cat foot, so you want to make that foot as tight and round as you can. That's why I took the toe off. And if you expose the toenails, that's okay because they're, they're terriers, they're, they're to dig, so they need nails to dig. So if, you sh if they show, it's fine. I can't see what I'm doing though, no problem. All right. Now we've got the toe, so we know where the front of his foot is. And we just want to make that foot round. We went around that way. We're going to come this way. When we did our clipper work earlier, we came down the back of the thigh. We want to expose that, that strong thigh muscle. And we came to where it bends, and that's where we stopped our clipper work. So now what we want to do is we want to get some of this long stuff to blend, because you don't want this very distinct line. It should blend. So I'm going to take my scissors, my thinning shears, Comb this up, hold it with my comb, and just thin off the top over the comb. See how it just kind of, when you lay it down, it blends? Wow. And the comb gives you a little bit more control. If, if, you, t if you tend to bob when you use your your shears, your comb kind of gives you a guideline, so you're not going to go too short. You want parallel lines in the rear, okay? 
So when we did our clipper work, we didn't take anything off inside because we may need fill, so we wanted to leave it. You want a straight line from the widest point of the muscles down. So that's the effect you're trying to go for. So you have these two straight lines. No, you're being very good. Same thing, you're thinning shears. Lift the leg up and just come straight down. Now he doesn't have a whole lot of hair, so I'm not taking much off. <laughs> Check your work by combing down. I'm just combing it up, going in with my straights now and just cleaning off anything that's sticking out past the line. Same on the outside. So you can see we've got, see the inside line, how nice and straight it is coming down. So now we gotta do the same thing on this side. Take the real long stuff off with your thinning shears. And then just tip it off with your straights. So now we have a straight line coming down the outside as well. And you haven't taken anything off the front yet. All right, I gotta go around. We have our, our outside and our inside done. Now we wanna set in, finish our foot. And I'm just gonna touch it up with the thin and shears. Just cleaning up the hot. This comes in after we do the front leg. So now we're going to move to the front. We're going to take off the long hair in front of the toes because remember we want a round cat like foot. And it's real important when you're scissoring around the feet, the angle your shears are at, if you have them up too high at a 45 degree angle to the table, what it's going to do is it's going to take the, top, the hair on the top of the foot too short and it gives it a very pinched look. So you want to be at a 45 degree angle or more. We set off the toes. Now we're just going to shape it so it's round. Coming all up. Then 
then you're going to go straight down from the widest point here, not from the elbow. Because you want a parallel line straight down. But you want to see a little dip where the muscle comes in just above the elbow. Nope, I can do it from that angle. You want to come straight down. The front leg should be column-like. Now, with the terriers, you really want to give the illusion of a straight front. And what they mean by a straight front is there's a straight line from this area under the jaw to the tips of the toes. And you do that just by, again, scissoring a straight line in. You're just going to go straight down, get rid of all of this. Five minutes. Five minutes left. This is the Groomer's Choice Sporting Class. Groomer's Choice with wonderful people. Now, the whole illusion part is to keep this forward more. So, the, the straight front is still a 45 degree layback of the shoulder. But in order to get that forward, this straight line, this particular bone, the upper leg, is shorter than this. So you've got this long bone, then you've got a, a little one, and what that does is it brings the leg up closer to the front. That's why they have that. When you see them dating, their front legs kind of go like this. Where a poodle or a bichon, these bones are equal, and it's set up back here. So you make that, you accentuate that, or, or try to fake it if you can, by making the hair on the back of the front leg shorter. and leaving more fill on the front. And then you're still going to blend this because you still want to see the, the layback. You just, but you don't want to take away from your straight line. in now and it looks like his leg is more forward. Now one thing I like to do on my pet schnauzers is take the armpit out. And I just come in, lift the leg up, I go in with my thinning shears and just take that hair out. It just gets matted anyways. But it also helps make the leg a separate piece from the chest. It, it, it opens this up so that you can see this line in here. Jag, you're being a very good boy. Now we're going to set in our tuck up. The square dog is just behind the last rib. We did our measurements. We know we don't want this uh, 
chest furnishings any lower than the elbow. Now they does not have a, not really supposed to have a cut up, cut up, cut up being the lowest part of the under underline. But it just it adds a little bit of elegance to the dog. So if you put in a, just a slight one right about here. You can go straight across, or you can just give them a slight tuck up, which is what we're going to do. It just makes them look a little tidier, neater, gives them a little more style. Just gonna blend in the loin area. And the same way we lifted the leg coat to get this to lay nicer, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're just gonna lift it and just lightly take off the tips. So that will fall down even, even nicer and just look that much more natural. Then all we gotta do is continue to have a ton of leg hair. I'm just gonna pull this up, take my straight shears, and just tip this. And there's our little schnauzer leg.